Hello everyone! Today we're in the beautiful and historic town of Newport, Rhode Island. There's a lot to do and see here, or just relax and go shopping. One major attraction when visiting Newport is the Cliff Walk. This is a three and a half mile walkway that borders on the shoreline and offers views of the ocean as well as the famous mansions. Here's some fun pictures people posted on Instagram. You can see how beautiful it is. Another thing people like to do in Newport is to see the historic mansions. One popular mansion is the Breakers, a mansion built by the Vanderbilt family in 1893 for a cost of $7 million. Imagine how much $7 million was in 1893. And this was for a summer home. You can tour the Breakers and other Newport mansions with a self-guided tour using the free Newport Mansions app, so make sure to download it before you go. Other mansions you might want to visit are Marble House, the Elms, Rosecliff, and many more. Visit the Newport Mansions website for more information and to explore the different mansions, as well as the Green Animals Topiary Garden. You can get to Newport by car, of course, but we arrived by ship. Our ship was too large to fit in the harbor, so we were transported by tender to the ferry terminal. The tender boat was a small ferry with both an indoor and outdoor section to sit in. The outdoor section was on top and, of course, lots of life jackets just in case. You can see that the location of the ferry terminal is perfect, right in the heart of Newport and within walking distance of many points of interest. Here we are at the ferry terminal. We had booked a shore excursion for a walking tour of Newport and here's our tour guide waiting for everyone to come. He was friendly and knowledgeable, which is of course what you want. He gave us a brief history lesson first, and then we started off on our walking tour. By the way, I don't count heads, so if anybody disappears, I won't miss you. <laughs> if you heard him, he said, by the way, he doesn't use headsets. Huh. Too bad, because I did have trouble hearing him, and the headsets would have been really helpful. As we walked, the tour guide pointed things out, but if you weren't one of the few people up ahead of the group, you couldn't hear what he was saying. This is the Jailhouse Inn. It was originally built in 1772 as a jail and police station, and now you can stay there too. And now we're in front of the oldest surviving house in Newport, built in 1697. This is called the Wanton Lyman Hazard House for the various families that lived here. This is the Great Friends Meeting House, and it's the oldest surviving house of worship in Rhode Island, built in 1699. We walked around a bit. And then we came to the back of the Wanton Lyman Hazard House. Here the guide pointed out the town spring. Nothing to see here now, but at this site there was a freshwater spring that nurtured the town of Newport in the 1600s. The guide said the spring is still here, around 30 feet underground. Our next stop on this walk was Turo's Synagogue. This is the oldest surviving synagogue in the United States, built in 1763. This is a letter President George Washington wrote to the congregation on August 21, 1790. It reads in part, The government of the United States gives to bigotry no sanction, to persecution no assistance. May the children of the stock of Abraham who dwell in this land continue to merit and enjoy the goodwill of the other inhabitants. 
while everyone shall sit in safety under his own vine and fig tree, and there shall be none to make him afraid. Wow, very poetic. President Washington's letter is read annually at a formal event that in the past included invited speakers, such as Supreme Court Justices Ruth Bader Ginsburg and Elena Kagan. After Turo Synagogue, we stopped in front of a historic house, and then another, and then another. Not surprisingly, a lot of these homes are registered as historic. Now we're standing in front of the artillery company, chartered in 1741 by King George II of Great Britain, and now operates as a ceremonial unit to provide cannon salutes, color guards, honor guards, and other patriotic or veteran events. We pass some more historic homes, This home is the Vernon House. It's constructed from wood, not brick. It was just made to look like brick. This is the Trinity Church in operation since 1698, and it's the oldest Episcopal Church in Rhode Island. A lot of these gravestones in here are from 1700s. You'll notice on some of them they have the angel of death on the top. That was popular in those days uh, to put a picture of the angel of death on your gravestone. Uh, also, if we could have gone in there and looked around a little closer, you might even see some skull and crossbones from pirates. And here's where all good things come to an end at the cemetery. The road leading to the cemetery is called Farewell Street for obvious reasons. And so that ends this video of our day in Newport, Rhode Island. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you did. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Bye.